Hey guys, it's Lola and today I'm gonna do something that nobody really asked for um, It's actually just for fun um, Five years ago when I was still blogging I did this fun questions tag and I watched the video and I thought it was hilarious so I decided that I'd remake it but if you'd like to see the video, I will link it down below So, the first question is When is your birthday? My birthday is on 9th of November And the second question What are three of your favorite colors? Black, red, and white Um... What are three of your favorite quotes? People still like quotes? I don't think I know any <laughs> um, Can I leave this question unanswered? <laughs> are you addicted to YouTube? Um, I think so, yeah I mean, I watch a lot on YouTube, especially right now during this entire coronavirus thing um, Number five What are three of your favorite shows on TV or YouTube or both? Five? No, three. Oh god. <laughs> okay, um Friends, How I Met Your Mother and Oh, uh, The End of the Fucking World <laughs> Question number six what are three qualities you like in a best friend? Well, definitely honest, loyal, and humorous. Yeah. Number seven. Do you like your name? I like Lola, but obviously that's not my real name. My real name is Lone. I like it too. I've grown to it. I used to hate it a lot, but I like it. Number eight, if you have the choice to pick your own name, what will it be? It would definitely be Lola, I would not change it. <laughs> um, number nine, what is your fantasy dream? I'm not quite sure what that means, but what my dream is, um, it would probably be that the world would be a better place, but as long as I can provide for my family and I am happy, that's enough for me. Number 10. Do you wear makeup? I Right now, I am not wearing any makeup and lately haven't worn it at all. But I do wear like a little bit, like sometimes some lipstick, a little bit of, you know, brow filling. But besides that, not really. If you could write a book, what would the title be and what would it be about? Wow, um, <laughs> honestly, I would probably write about fries and just the title could be just fries because I love fries. I even have it tattooed on my leg, man. <laughs> so, gotta love me some fries. I'm gonna write a book about it. <laughs> Number 12. What makes you cry? Well, there are quite many, like there's a lot of things that make me cry, but probably currently my family the most. Or just like the fact that I'm missing my family and my best friends. That's probably what's making me sad enough to cry right now. Number 13. What makes you angry? Well, the stupidity of people and mean people. Just what? <laughs> like sometimes I hear so much like such crappy things, you know, just like hear people being racist towards each other and saying slur words or just being a bunch of idiots just bullying each other or just I don't know sometimes people just have to make things so fucking difficult number 14 
what makes you happy? Well, my friends and my family mostly make me happy. And obviously food as well. Food is life. What is fangirling? Does somebody still say that word? Fangirling? But I guess it just means that you're a huge fan of anyone really. Being obsessed about someone and adoring them obviously. Just not just being obsessed, just like adoring them and maybe idolizing them as well. Number 16. What are your three favorite snacks? Um, chips, definitely. Chocolate, ice cream. 17. What are your three favorite foods? Fries, Vietnamese food. Fries. <laughs> I don't know, just fries and I'll be happy. What are your three favorite drinks? Well, mostly I just drink water. So I'm, I guess I'm gonna have to go with two and that would be water and fresh juice. And the last question, what are 10 random facts about yourself? Well, <laughs> okay, let's see. I need, I need my fingers for this. Hold on. <laughs> Number one, um, I'm a university student. Number two, I love fries so much. Number three, I'm not very good at orienteering. Number four, I love my friends and my family. They're like my number one priority in my life. Number five, um, I have a dog. <laughs> number six, I'm still sort of childish, like in a way that I love plushies and I might still think like a child and I want to play around and stuff. Number seven, I don't like reading, but at the same time I do. It's a complicated relationship with that. Number eight, I love music. I used to sing, not anymore, but I listen to music a lot. Number four, I vlog again. <laughs> Number four, Wait, number nine. It was nine. I am so sorry. I can't count. <laughs> and the last one, number ten. Um, I, I love food, I guess. And actually about, I think it was number four when I said I'm not good at orienteering. <sighs> I have a funny story about that. <laughs> so about two years ago, me and my boyfriend were visiting Sweden. We were staying in Stockholm. And I wanted to visit this one store called Brandy Melville. I hope I said that right. And I was like, I know sort of where it is, but I'm not entirely sure. So I googled it and I tried to find like this Stockholm guiding map thing. And it gave me an address and also the lines of the bus, like which bus goes there. And I was like, okay, so it's probably a little bit far away, but like, not that far away <laughs> so we hop on the bus and we just like sit down and we're on our phone for a little bit and then it, it's just said that like it's gonna take like 30 minutes or something and i was like okay well there's nothing to worry about so i'm just gonna look at my phone for a little bit and then at some point we both just look out the window and we're like wait a minute where the hell are we like it looked like i was in the middle of freaking nowhere like there were woods and there were like fields and stuff and I was like, what? Where are we? And then in the end, we ended up at, in this, I don't know if it's this different city or if it's just like a different part of Stockholm, but man, it looked different. Like there were like harbors and there was like a small store and maybe a small like seafood restaurant and stuff like that. I was like, oh my God. And then I just burst into huge laughter because I realized that it was not leading me where I wanted to go. And my boyfriend was like, what the frick? And then <laughs> and I was like, yeah, well, you know, I'm not good at orienteering apparently. So then we just hop on the bus back and then I just, I gave up on that and we still laugh about it like after two years it's so hilarious 
And since then, he has not let me lead anywhere. Like, if I wanted to go somewhere, he would search it, and I would always have to give the map to him because he doesn't trust me to orienteer us to wherever I want to go. So I guess lesson learned. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed my extra story time with my 20 or 19 fun questions that I found online. And if you'd like to compare my answers now in 2020 to me 2015 or 2016, you go ahead and click the link down below. And besides that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe, and also remember to eat fries.